So a lot of people are already hyping this weapon up because it can one-hit raid bosses. There are some crazy videos going out where Sanctified Mind and Riven are getting killed in seconds, but this appears to be a bug. I'm not going to review the weapon based on the ability to do these cheesy things because it's not going to be in the game forever, and if it is, it would ruin every future raid. I'm sure they'll fix this, I want to talk about it legitimately, but thank you, Cacus HD, my boy, Thick Cacus, for the footage. Hey everyone, Mtash here, and I spent hours, tens and tens and tens of hours grinding Destiny so I could get the Weather Horde... Hey everyone, Mtash here, and I spent tens and tens and tens of hours grinding out for the Wither Horde Catalyst so that I could show off what it does. Now, if you look up in the game files, if you look on LightGG, I'm sure you could find this. Uh, it's pretty common knowledge that it gives you auto-loading holster and it maxes out your handling. Both amazing for the way that this weapon functions. I want to talk about the weapon as a whole before I equip this catalyst and then show the differences. And I want to explain that this is probably one of the best exotic catalysts for a gun I've seen in a long time. It is so good that it makes it somewhat like the Trinity Ghoul in value. It is a optimal DPS weapon, and I definitely recommend getting this. If you want to do the Season Pass, the Wither Horde is something that I think is going to be a very good weapon long term, and I would recommend it to pretty much anyone, even without the Catalyst. But if you play the game, put in the time, and get the Catalyst completed, you now have one of the best weapons in the game for multiple situations. It's good in dungeons, it's good at clearing trash mobs, it's good in nightfalls, it's good pretty well everywhere. So let's get started. The Wither Horde has a unique perk, Break the Bank. Blighted targets take damage over time and blight nearby enemies on death. The exotic perk is projectiles fired from this weapon, blight that target. So you send out an area of effect grenade and it sends out a blight. This is a damage over time area that is going to do a, a marginable, uh, a marginable fast tick, uh, quick damage to any target that's in it. But on top of that, you can also attack a target directly. If you attack the target directly, it will blight them and do the damage over time. Now, I'm going to kill this bad boy and you guys can see, uh, you can see the blight in action. But if I kill him with this, he's actually going to blight the ground, right? So the nice thing is, with that blight on the ground, that is going to do some DPS. But I can also hit him directly and stack both. That means that you can stack this DPS like crazy, you can shoot one at the ground, shoot one at the body, and do awesome sustained DPS. If you're doing maybe, uh, you know, Whisper the Worm when it first came out, Whisper the Worm was all about poking out, doing damage when you could because enemies would truck you. Maybe you're doing the, uh, you know, the Outbreak per Perfected quest or something like that where it's very high stress. Maybe it's a new dungeon. Having damage that you can do over time with just a quick little peek is insanity for a lot of difficult content, and so it's already really, really good. On top of that, I'm sure you already know, but if I blight this target, I can then switch to a different higher DPS weapon and chunk them as well. So the rotation uh, of being able to swap between these is already pretty valuable, right? This is already going to be an incredible way to slay any enemy that you're engaged upon. Let me grab a little ammo so I don't run out, and let me show you something you can do once you equip the exotic catalyst. Actually, before I do that, I want to show this off. So with the handling, that is how quickly you can stow and pull out the weapon, right? And so if I'm shooting with my last hope here, and I'm doing some damage, and I want to swap, there's a little bit of a delay, I bring it out, and I do some damage. But the other thing too, on top of this, is you have to reload the weapon, right? So you have to go reload that weapon and jump back onto the weapon to do DPS. So if I'm shooting that, uh, and let's say I swap before doing it, there's a lot of downtime here. This reload is a lot of downtime whichever way you do it. Before you swap weapons, after you swap weapons, this reload really tanks this weapon's ability to shine. So what happens when we put on the catalyst? It becomes insanity. It becomes one of the best weapons in the game for pretty much every situation. So let's 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 show this bad boy off, okay? 
So now with the catalyst, the handling is improved and it's a little bit faster to put it away. Let's say I'm shooting my sidearm and I want to swap. It is fractionally faster at getting it out and getting the damage off. But the big one is the auto-loading holster and your ability to shoot it and then do damage with other weapons. You shoot it, switch the sidearm, kill some trash mobs, and we're back, reloaded, and ready to go. You shoot it, and you take out a big major, do a little combo, and you're back, ready to go. The value here is unheard of. And so if you're taking out a bunch of big enemies, you can just kind of throw this into your rotation and do a lot of damage. Now, with a weapon like this Whirlwind, it might be more optimal to just do it the first time and, and keep your Whirlwind stacks so that you're doing more damage. But with something with like Vorpal Weapon or something where you don't need to stack it, then it's going to be even more effective. Maybe you want to use a shotgun, maybe you want to use a sniper, I don't care what you use, but a rotation could be similar to this, where you're doing damage, killing the enemy, swapping to the next target, killing this guy, right? Wait, did that bounce off him? Oh, it did. It bounced off. But you get the idea, right? I can keep alternating between these and, and do crazy amounts of damage. So, um, I think that this is going to be in a lot of players' loadouts for a long time. I think that this is a, a setup that... I mean, it's, it's anarchy, right? It's anarchy. Literally, like, it's like the exotic. You've got that burning damage... If you end up killing the, the enemies, it's going to transfer more. So you've got sustained DPS, you've got area of effect wave clear, you've got trash mob control, you've got DPS or extra DPS uh, for damage phases on bosses or when there's a, you know, in a, a DPS phase, right? There's immunity phases and DPS phases on a lot of bosses. Being able to throw that extra damage out while you're dishing this with your sword is super, super valuable. And so I think that... <sighs> almost <laughs> this weapon is almost worth getting the season pass for if you're like a super dedicated player i know i made a video earlier and i said like hey this was one of the things that might be appealing but now that i've played with it uh with the the masterwork it's just so good i would recommend it to pretty much everyone now let's talk about pvp see there's six people capping this ah gg look at this zone Look at that, the whole thing is taken up. You wanna you wanna die while capping a zone? Well guess what? Wither Horde is gonna kill everybody. Um, you know, zone control and just being able to throw this out into popular areas. You don't want anyone coming down there, it might, you know, it might keep them away. And the other thing too is, you know, with um with these changes and the auto-loading holster, there's there's never any risk of downtime, right? I can put this away. Oh, oh I, I did a little too fast there. But, like, I've got a bunch of ammo. And so I can just swap to this. And I can just, like, send these down and hold lanes. Wait for a couple seconds. Okay, there's someone someone else. Let's hold this lane. Right? You can literally just, just like, use this thing over and over again. Spread it around the map. But also, have your primary weapon out and available to duel. You see? I just got a kill with it. I just got a kill with it. I just sent it down range here. And I literally just got a kill with that. And so you can be a real nuisance in PvP with this. And, like, I hate showing you this. I don't think it's overpowered necessarily. But there are multiple places on the map that you can put this down and pressure people. You can pressure people off heavy with it. And so the value that this this special weapon has is it's so much. It's everywhere. Any activity you play, I think Wither Horde has a place. If it's your play style, if it's the way you want to use it. I understand not everyone likes grenade launchers, but I don't know, man. I think that this thing is top tier in so many ways. I think most people are hyping it up. You've seen all the stuff where people are, are like glitching the game. Well, I talked about that at the beginning of the video. Uh, right? That's going to get patched, I'm sure. I think that's just a bug. Even without that, it's good. So, that's it for me. I'm gonna let my team carry me. Actually, no, that's rude. I'll just stop the video. I'll play the game normal. Let's carry these bad boys. Let's use uh, the old spare rations and a little ooh, mind benders. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.
oh, what's this? M Tash Mango Splash keeps selling out because it's so popular and you need to back order it right now at advance.gg slash M Tash code M Tash for 10% off at checkout if you want to get some. Oh my goodness. What's this? It's going to sell out if you're not fast. Oh no. 